fundamentals of animism explain. Distinct from pantheism, animism is not the same as pantheism. Although the two are sometimes confused, moreover, some religions are both pantheistic and animistic. One of the main differences is that while animists believe everything to be spiritual in nature, they do not necessarily see the spiritual nature of everything in existence as being united, which is monoism, mono one. The way pan or all, the root of pantheists, all gods or deities, the way they do. As a result, animism puts more emphasis on the uniqueness of each individual soul. In pantheism, everything shares the same spiritual essence rather than having distinct spirits or souls. In animism, we believe that everything has a, a, a distinct essence, plants, rocks, trees. In many animistic worldviews, the human being is often regarded as on a roughly equal footing with other animals, plants, and natural forces. African indigenous religions, Traditional African religions, most religious traditions of sub-Saharan sub Africa, which are basically a complex form of animism with polytheistic and shamanistic elements and ancestor worship, meaning they have a main deity. <laughs> you know, they believe in shamanism or the or the or, or what we call or what they call alchemy and ancestor reverence. All right. In North Africa, the traditional Berber religion includes the traditional polytheistic animists and in some rare cases, shamanistic religious uh, views of the Berber people. OK, now. Key points of discussion today. Updates versus actually studying on your own. We're going to talk about that. What happened to Nuwapian ontology? Remember the, the, the book on top Nuwapian ontologists of time. That is that's that's the standard that the Baba is holding us up to. He's calling us ontologists, masters, scientists. We're going to talk about evidence, experience and reason versus belief. Origin of the word Bantu and our Sabians supposed to be believing in anything, <laughs> which we all know we we not supposed to. All right. Here we have a small table which compares and explains the direct links between Wu Sabat and Wu Yoruba. Wu, although in our dialect we, we only mostly use it as and or wa and, but in the actual meta nature, it also means the way or the path. Shout out to the brother Emre and Asar. Hopefully they be tuning up, tuning in later. But we discovered this, or they discovered this in the language research group. The Wa, so the Wu Sabat and the Wu Yoruba, and that whole chart that we're going to show later is really saying Wu Sabat, the way of the Sabians, the way of those from Sirius. Wu Yoruba, the way of the Yorubans. Wu Hindu, the way of the Hindus, and explaining the ways of, and the ages and the times of, 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 of these different uh, cultures. But here is the common thread, right? Number one, observance and reverence of ancestors, right? Number two, establishing altars and shrines for, excuse me, establishing altars and shrines for ancestral communication with our deceased blood relatives via divination, meditation, etc. We have a divination system, yes. We are taught to commune with our deceased relatives. Yes, this is the same thing your Rubens do. Observance and reverence of nature. Ta, mu, nifu, set, earth, wind, water, fire. And who is the fifth element? Right? The same panatharu, netaru, nature. Observance of a cosmic origin linked to various star constellations. A lot of people don't know, but in Yoruba cosmology, they also teach of what modern science calls panspermia. And I, I missed that, but they also teach in um about um the woman predating the man. <laughs> it's a book we I'm gonna show I'm gonna show later um that speaks about it tells you the Yoruba cosmology story. And it's a sister that wrote it. She speaks about all this stuff, 
right? And last but not least, observance of science as well as spirituality. They, the Yorubans don't believe that Ifa is a religion. They believe it's the origin of religion. 